Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, starting with the 144,000 men of Israel, which consist of the servants, the prophets, whom have been ordained since the foundations of the earth to sing this new song, which comes in the form of this gospel, which would be preached throughout all four corners of this earth and rest upon the ears of the innumerable multitude of the men, women, and children of Israel that may be scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a brief lesson pinpointing and targeting the devil that the Bible speaks of, whom is none other than Esau Edom, the so-called white man. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to focus in on a few uh, key players in the creation of these weapons of mass destruction, right? Which are these ICBMs, these intercontinental ballistic missiles, you know, which Esau Edom, the so-called white man, uh, is directly um, behind the, the creation of these things. Of course, given the wisdom uh, by our power, uh, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. You know, but contrary to popular belief, you know, these weapons of mass destruction are the weapons of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai's indignation. Okay, and this is a, a blessing, okay, of Esau that is actually a curse upon him. Because at the end of the day, as is written in Psalms, the 37th chapter, he's going to fall on his own sword, man. And it's going to enter into his own heart. So through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, the first scripture I want to get into, let's go here. Let's go to 2 Thessalonians because this is a major part of biblical prophecy. This demon being revealed. The book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Um, in verse 3, and it reads, Let no man deceive you by any means. And that man that's going to try to deceive you first and foremost is the devil that the Bible speaks of, whom is none other than Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. That word deceiver, salakia, that word devil means deceiver and slanderer and false accuser. You see? And Esau, Edom, the so-called white man fits all of these characteristics like a, win like a winter cotton glove, man. Okay, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, right? The day of the Lord shall not come. The return of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, shall not come until there came a falling away. When we fell away from our, our power, man, and we discontinued from our heritage. That was a part of prophecy that I had to take place. You see? And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, right? That man of sin, Right? The son of perdition, the son of destruction, whom is none other than Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. You got three uh, categories of men. Okay, you got the sons of God, okay, which is us Israelites, our so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, you have the sons of men, all right, which are the rest of these heathen. And then you have the sons of the spiritual demon, Satan, okay, the sons of perdition, the base men, okay, the third part of man, which is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, woman, and child, man. And we're living in a time where he's being revealed, man. And we're going to put him on a scopeo now. On this lesson, man. Okay, going into these um, key players in the creation of these weapons of mass destruction, man. Right? Let's continue on. Uh, who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called God. Or that is worship so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. See, he wants to be a God. 
Esau eating the so-called white man's deep, dark, diabolical uh, hopes and dreams is that he could be a god, man. <laughs> you see, what do you think this uh, MOTB is about, man? This fourth industrial revolution. Him linking man with machine. With this AI technology. What do you think this is about? See, this is him uh, wanting to be omnipotent. See? This is him wanting to be omnipresent. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, wants to be a god, man. And he's coming, he's came to the point of his rulership where in his feeble mind he thinks that he's outsmarted the God of the Bible and his only begotten son. But this man is sadly mistaken. He's sadly mistaken, man. Because even though he goes into a um, he goes on a diligent search, as the scriptures say, you know, regarding his, uh, his iniquity. Okay. He's far from having the wisdom of our power. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai makes his wisdom and knowledge foolish, man. And we could prove that when we go here. Let's go here real quick. Isaiah 44. And I'm going to start at verse 24. Verse 25 is the point. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb. I am the Lord, Yahweh, that maketh all things, that stretcheth forth the heavens alone, that spreadeth abroad the earth by myself. Here's the point right here. That frustrateth the tokens of the liars. Right. This is talking about Esau eating the so-called white man, man. And maketh diviners mad. And we know Esau is all about witchcraft. Uh, this man's a wizard, right? And his women are witches, right? That turneth the wise men backward, right? The men are teeming, right? Them Germans, right? Which are Edomites, right? Those are the wise men, all right? The Chaldeans, man. Those Germans, man. Of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, man. Okay, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua turneth them back, right? Turneth the wise men backward and making their knowledge foolish, man. See? The wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai makes the wisdom of Esau foolish. He gave Esau the wisdom he has, man. He put the spirit on him to do that deep, diligent search when it comes to wickedness, man. As a matter of fact, let's go here. But in Esau, even the so called white man's feeble mind, he thinks he's outsmarted the most high, not realizing he's in the trick bag. The book of Psalms, chapter 64, and verse 5, and it reads, They encourage themselves in an evil matter. This is talking about the elite first and foremost, man. This is going into the counsel of the wicked. The secret counsel of the wicked, right? This is the Psalm of David, man. Right? They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily, they say, who shall see them, right? Because they're in the background, all right? They're using their... Uh, uh, t many, many tentacles, right? In the form of their media, right? Their, um, their judicial system, their law, right? Their state officials, their puppets, the president, that whole council, right? To make moves, man, without being seen. See, this is why it says, who shall see them, right? They search out iniquities, they accomplish a diligent search, see? Why? Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. You see, they search things that are unsearchable. They go the extra mile to find things out. See, Esau is a carnal man. Okay, and he goes, he goes to the he goes to the limit. In efforts to find things out, man. <laughs> you see? In efforts for him to pursue uh, his wicked agenda with whatever it may be. Because no matter what Esau sets his hands to, he always leaves a path of destruction. This is why he's coined as the son of perdition. Okay, this man has figured out small particles, small atoms, and he was able to weaponize it. See, 
He was able to split atoms and smash them back together to create these cataclysmic events, man, in the form of these missiles and bombs, man. Why? Because this is what he's wired to do. This is how he's built. Let's go ahead. And I'm going to grab some information real quick. Lord willing, this is not going to be that long. The book of Proverbs, chapter 4. And uh, I'm going to start at verse 16. It reads, For they sleep not, except they have done mischief. See that? <laughs> and their sleep is taken away, unless they cause some to fall. And when you get this word mischief real quick in the blue letter, right? Strong's H, 7489, Ra'eh, Ra'eh. See that? For they sleep not except they have done mischief, which goes into what? Evil, man. See? Wicked. Wickedly hurt, harm. <laughs> you see? To be bad, be evil. To be injurious, man. See? To be wicked, be evil, ethically. See, this is how this diabolical bastard is wired, man. They lose sleep if they don't ex execute some form of mischief, man. And we've seen that in the form of that last scamdemic. See, his mouth was smoother than butter, <laughs> right? But guess what? He was drawing swords on you people, man. He was drawing swords on you. Let's go back to Proverbs and continue on. Proverbs 4 and 16. For they sleep not except they have done mischief. And their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall, man. <laughs> the son of perdition, the son of destruction. This is why we say he's the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan. Because he is. When you read 2 Thessalonians, we were just in there. He, he comes after the workings of Satan, it tells you. You see? This is why these characteristics of this man are no surprise. Let's get this too. Proverbs 4 and 17. For they eat the bread of wickedness. See? And drink the wine of violence, man. See, this is his soup. <laughs> this is how he's made up. This is what this man was created to do. Okay, this is why we can go into individuals like this. Bear with me. Let's get this devil first. All right, right here, this devil right here. Right, Abraham Esau, a German physicist. All right, a German physicist. And we know the Germans are the Temanites, right? Which are the wise men of Edom. Okay? Now, when we go into this, we ain't going to dig deep. We're just going to, you know what I mean, just bring it out and go from there. Now, he's a German physicist, so he's a scientist. He creates, he, he, he's part of creating these bombs, man. This is what a physicist is. You see? He's that smith. Okay, that Yahweh Bashim Yahusha created that blows the that blows the coals and the fire, man, to bring forth his weapons of indignation. You see? <laughs> we ain't even gotta go crazy. Let me see what I wanna read here. Check this out. During World War II, Esau was one of the most powerful physicists in Germany, man. After, after World War II until 1948. And that's a, hey, we know about that, yeah. <laughs> but we'll leave that right there. Esau was a prisoner of war of the Dutch. From 1949, Esau was a visiting professor 
of a shortwave technology at the R. Uh, yeah, 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 la, 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 la. And he right along with who? All right, this individual is a uh, 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 well-known physicist. Right along with who? This devil right here. Um, let's see if I'm spelling his name right. Bear with me. Right along with this demon. And we got a clip on him. We might be we might have to play that real quick through the spirit. Right? Robert Oppenheimer, right? Born April 22nd, 1904. Right? Was an American theoretical physicist and director of the Manhattan Projects, right? Los, El Los Alamos Laboratory during World War II. You see? Now, these devils were involved in that bomb that was created to, uh, that fell on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, man. He is often called the father of the atomic bomb. You see that? Another demon. You see? Another demon. I'm just going to skim down real quick. Check this out. In 1942, Oppenheimer was recruited to work on the Manhattan Project. And in 1943, he was appointed director of the project's Los Alamos Laboratory in New Mexico, tasked with developing the first nuclear weapons, man. His leadership and scientific expertise were instrumental in the project's success. On July 16, 1945, he was present at the first test of the atomic bomb, Trinity. In August 1945, the weapons were used against Japan in the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. See? The only use of nuclear weapons in an armed conflict. And this fell on a lot of innocent people. Mind you, they bombed a lot of innocent people, man. Okay? They bombed a lot of innocent people. Why? Because this is what the devil does. This is what the devil does, man. And the scriptures go into that, man. That they smote the people with a continual stroke. In Isaiah, the 14th chapter. Let's go there real quick. See, these are just some of the demons, man, that we can go into. As a matter of fact, before we get that, let's see if we can get that clip real quick. I know it's on one on YouTube. Right there. There it goes. We just want the 53 second video. Yeah, right here. So like, yeah. He knew the world would not be the same. Few people laughed. Few people cried. Look at this Most nigga. people were silent. You know he drinking blood. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu trying to persuade the prince that he should do his duty and to impress him takes on his multi-armed form and says now I am become death the destroyer of worlds I suppose we all thought that one way or another he was foaming at the mouth <laughs> okay and, 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 and uh, complete uh, self-embellishment of himself for being behind the creation of that weapon. Look at that. Look at that uh, thousand miles stare. This man is a psychopath, man. And this is the mindset of these Edomites, man. <laughs> of your one percenters. This niggas like him still running around these laboratories, man. This is why this man must be stopped. Or then no flesh will be saved. The Lord is going to shorten the times like he's been doing. Right? And he's going to come stop this man. Okay? Scripture tells us that. We quoted it earlier. Let's go get it. Isaiah. 
Like the scriptures pinpoint, target this man, man. Habakkuk, the second chapter, goes into how he's like deaf in hell. These scriptures are undefeated, man. See? And there's how he's being revealed. Esau has been revealed, man. He's been revealed through the scriptures. See? Matter of fact, let's go get that. We got to pinpoint targeting, man. Habakkuk 2 and 5, right? Yeah, also because he transgressed by wine, right? By his philosophies, right? And the main philosophy he used was Christianity, man. Okay, he erected that JC. Okay, he, he erected Serapis everywhere. You see? He covered up the faces of the judges from the heavenly father to his son, to the angels, to the prophets, to our foremothers, to, our, to the nation as, as a whole. Yet also he, because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keepeth at home. Look around you, man. There's over 800 garrisons sprawled out all throughout the earth. Yeah, the majority of them are not activated, but guess what? All he has to do is send troops there and they're active. You see, his fingerprint is all over the earth, proving that he's in the, that he's in his blessing right now. Pursuant to uh, Genesis, the 27th chapter, when Isaac blessed him with the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven. He's living in his blessing right now. Evil E. Our, our psychotic <laughs> uh, 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 brother, man. If you can't see that, man, you out of your mind. Who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death, man. Okay? Here it is. This dude, Robert Oppenheimer, is uh, uh, stating a quote that he admires, man. I'm the destroyer of the world. I am as death. This man's out of his mind. And there's many more like him. There's many more like him. And guess what? You, Jake, that don't want to repent back to your power, okay, and get right. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that don't want to repent. Guess what? It's going to be open season on you, okay? Individuals like that, or individuals like this, are going to have open season on you. You ain't going to be able to do escape. <laughs> you see? Because remember, they're, 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 these devils, they're the sword of the Lord. Even uh, King David in uh, Psalm 17 Pray to the Lord uh, to keep him from his soul, from this nigga. Matter of fact, let me go get that real quick. We'll jump back to Habakkuk. The book of Psalms, chapter 17. And this is the Psalm of David, verse 13. It reads, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, which he's going to do. How about Shemir is going to cast this man down? Right? And he's going to disappoint him, right? Deliver my soul from the wicked. Which is thy sword, man. <laughs> and we know Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, is the wicked. Pursuant to Job 9, 24, Malachi 1 and 4, and he was blessed with the sword. See, this is talking about evil E. We need divine protection from this man, man. You Jake that ain't out here doing the right thing. You're not serving your power. You ain't. Uh, walking the path of righteousness. Guess what? You're going to fall right into the hands of a bastard. Just like that. Let's go back. Back at Habakkuk. Back in the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 5. And it reads, Yeah, also because he transgresseth by wine. He is a proud man. See, and a proud is a buzzword for Esau. All right, Jeremiah coins this man. Uh, 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 he's, he's coined as the most proud. Evil E, right? You can see it all around his kingdom, his uh, queen, uh, queendom now. <laughs> okay, this man, uh, proud to be an American, uh, Momo pride, right? The few, the proud, the Marines. This, this man's whole system are orient, or is oriented around pride. Pride, pride, pride. But as it's written, pride goes before destruction. And a hardy spirit before fall, man. So we know his visitation's imminent. Let's continue on. Neither keepeth at home who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death. 
See, this man's the harbinger of death, man. And cannot be satisfied, right? He's covetous. He's covetous, excuse me. I always say that like that. He's covetous. You see? He's rapacious. Right? This man's aggressively greedy. Okay? He will delete you. He will delete you for what you got. Okay? And we've seen this play out in the form of him... Uh, Spreading his, uh, uh, spreading his, uh, his wickedness throughout the whole four corners of the earth. We seen how he moved, how he did the Native Americans, man. You see, how he did um, the the Japhites, the J J the Japhetic people, how he did everybody. Okay, he's raped, robbed, and murdered, man. He colonized the whole planet. But guess what? There's a, there's a penalty for that. Okay, this man's removed landmarks. There's a penalty for that, man. This man's visitation is imminent. Right, let's continue on. But gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. But the beautiful thing about it is that this man's going to be stopped. Let's go ahead. The book of Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 5 and it reads, The Lord Yahweh hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. See, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is coming, okay, to remove this man off of the throne. See, starting with the heads, the head honchos, man. He's going to come smite the heads of the rulers, man, like it tells you in Sirach. Let's go here real quick. 36. We're going to come back to Isaiah 14. Abaratas, I just want to grab this real quick. Ecclesiastic is also known as the book of Sirach. Chapter 36 and verse 10 and it reads, Smite and sunder the heads of the rulers of the heathen. You see, this is your one percenters, man. <laughs> okay? That say there is none other but we, that, they're, that, that God complex, okay, that these demons have displayed wide open, in the open. They haven't held back. They didn't hold back. They've, 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 uh, have said all forms of abominable things, okay? They've thumbed their nose up to the heavens, man. But Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai, uh, it has recorded these things, man. These things have been recorded, as a matter of fact. Before I go back there, let's get this real quick. Ezekiel 35, real quick. In verse 13, it reads, Thus with your mouth ye have boasted against me, and I have and, and, and have multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. See? See, Yahweh Mahashim is taking record to all the things that these demons have said. Okay? That they can, um, that, that they, they, they said the most high is, is deleted. Right, they can make them as mad as they want. Right, they can create uh, immortality in a lab with some scientists. Right, they don't have to worry about a famine because they can make it rain. <laughs> Keep that same energy when Yahweh Shai cracks these clouds. Keep that same energy. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14. In verse 5 again, the Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked. And the scepter of the rulers. He, he who smote the people in wrath. With a continual stroke. He that ruled the nations in anger. Is persecuted. <clears throat> and none hindereth him. We have many examples of this man. Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Right? What's going on right now. In, um, in Gaza. <laughs> right? How this man handled us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. There's countless accounts, pressure points in history where this man has continually smote the people, okay, with a continual stroke. 
and ruled the nations with anger, man. Many, 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 many pressure points in history proving that. My phone will die. I'll run out of my battery if I go through the list of this, the things that this man has done. You see? But guess what? When you're persecuted, it says none hindereth, man. No one's going to stop judgment that comes upon you, man. No one's going to intervene for you. <laughs> no, man. It's going to be open season. Y'all about me. I'm going to open up on you, man. You see? Let's go here. The book of Obadiah. Chapter, the only chapter, chapter 1 and verse, uh, let's start at verse 8. Shall I not in that day, saith the Lord Yahweh, even destroy the wise men out of Edom? See? The Lord is going to do it. And understanding out of the mount of Esau. And, and mount is short for a mountain. Which mountains in the scriptures go into what? Governments. Okay, you see? <laughs> Yahweh Bashim Shai's wisdom is going to turn you devils backwards, man. Because you're going to come to find out. You don't have any understanding, okay, in comparison to our power. You see? At no time is wickedness uh, uh, prudence. You see? At no time, right? And thy mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed. See that? Those mighty men of Teman are going to be dismayed, man. See? Yahweh Bashim is going to strip the wise men of Edom of their wisdom. Like it tells you in Jeremiah 49. Let's go there real quick. The book of Jeremiah chapter 49. And we're going to go back to uh, Obadiah. Jeremiah 49. In verse 7. Concerning Edom. Okay, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, right? Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts. See, Yahweh of armies is wisdom no more in Teman. See, remember them Temanites are the Germans, man. Okay. They're the major players in the creation of those missiles. See? Is counsel perished from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? Flee ye, turn back, dwell deep, O inhabitants of Dedan. For I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him the time that I will visit him. And it tells you in 2nd Ezra, the 6th chapter, that Esau is the end of the world. This is how we know Yahweh is coming back for sure. Because <laughs> there's a visitation written. That's going to come upon Esau. And it's going to come from the divine. In the form of Yahweh Shai. Busting into this third dimension. Okay. With the anger. The veracity. The, the glory and splendor. And the vengeance of his father Yahweh man. Allah Shadia judgment is going to come forth man. Okay. And we want to be on the right side. We want to be on the right team. And that's on the side of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Because there's a time written, okay, that's going to, there's, there's, there's a time written in, 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 that Esau is going to be visited. And if you have eyes to see and ears to hear, you should be able to see that it's close. You see, the time of his visitation. It's close. Let's go back to Obadiah. Continuing on in Obadiah. 1 and 8. And it reads. Shall I not in that day. Sayeth the Lord even destroy the wise men out of Edom. And understanding out of the mount of Esau. And thy mighty men O Teman shall be dismayed. To the end that every one of the mount of Esau. May be cut off by slaughter. Like the Lord said. What? He's going to cut off son and nephew. Why is that? 
Because that's where the bloodline's at. You see, because the man carries the sperm, man. The seed. See, you cut the man off, you cut the whole nation off. <laughs> you see? And that's what Yahweh Bashim is pinpointing and targeting, man. See? Hey, you, you're not going to get away. As much as you think you're going to fulfill this diabolical plan, you're not going to get away. You're not going to get away, man, for what you've done to the planet Earth. Okay, for what you've done to life on Earth. Okay, for your transgressions, for you, for you boasting against the Lord. For all your bloodshed. And first and foremost, for you putting your hands on the chosen people of the Bible, man. The chosen people of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai, which is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It's a guarantee that a visitation is coming upon you. And we can prove it right here in verse 10. Let's blow this up. Obadiah 1 and 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, which is a so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, shame shall cover thee. And thou shall be cut off forever, man. And this is in the Bible. You either believe it or you don't. But there's going to come a time where you're not going to have a choice but to believe it. Because it's going to come into fruition. It's going to be happening right before your eyes, man. You see? Hey. <laughs> For everything you do in this life, hey, you got to pay a price, man. There's no uh, going around the earth for hundreds of years and doing all manners of evil and then, you know, it's just it's peace and safety for you uh, uh, forever. No, man, it doesn't work like that. There's a judgment written that's coming. As a matter of fact, let's close out right here. The book of Second Ezra. Chapter 13 it could be Sirach, as a matter of fact. Yeah, it's actually Sirach, bear with me. I believe it's Sirach 13. Oh no, Sirach, yeah. Sirach 16. There it goes. The Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is what I want. The book of Sirach, chapter 16 and verse 11, and it reads, And if there be one stiff neck among the people, it is a marvel if he escape unpunished. For mercy and wrath are with him. He is mighty to forgive and to pour out displeasure. You see? So if you escape for what you've done, it will be a marvel, man. <laughs> and you've been nothing but stiff neck. Hard hearted. Okay? And, and, and in transgression, man. Okay, you've striven against the Lord, man. But now you've been found and you've been caught. All right? And now judgment is on your ass, man. Ecclesiastic is 16 and 12. As his mercy is great, so is his correction also. He judgeth a man according to his works. See? So you're going to be judged according to your works, evil E. <laughs> and you don't look too good for you right about now. It don't, look, it don't look too good for you right about now. You see? Scripture tells us with the forward, the Lord will show himself forward, man. You see? And you've been nothing but forward. You've been nothing but a crook serpent and perverse. Okay, so this is why Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai is going to perform his acts, his strange acts upon you, man. <laughs> and it's going to come in the form of this divine judgment. It's going to come in the form of World War III, which is going to cause a thermonuclear fallout. But prior to that, there's going to be many forms of scourges and calamities that's going to come upon you people, man. Whether you believe it or not. All praise, honor, and glory 
to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Raka Kwedash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwaf were edified. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Kal Halaliam La Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakak Wadash Shalom.